Good morning, Sensi Rock Stars. My name is Jackie Slaughterbeck. I'm an independent director with Team Sensinality Expressions, and today I want to talk to you about the word no. Um, when you hear no, what does that mean to you? How do you respond in your mind? Um, how do you respond in your actions? Um, uh, what makes you... What does it make you do? What does no really cause you to feel? Um, it's very important to look at no's as a way to grow and to create business. So right now, if you feel like you're stagnant in your business and you're, you're not really going anywhere, you're probably not getting enough no's. Um, you're not hearing no enough. Um, how many no's should you hear before you get an, a yes? Um, some say 5 to 11. I've heard 25. Um, on average, one person says no five times before they say yes. So if you're looking at numbers, that kind of helps you um, to distinguish how many no's you're going to have to to get before you get that yes. Um, so couple of things. Um, yeah, no means possible yes, uh, and don't take it seriously. I mean, most people won't say yes to an idea, like we said, without saying no first. So um, some of the objections you're going to get when saying no are, you know, no need, um, no money, no um, no desire, I'm not in a hurry, I don't have time, I don't trust you. Um, so we want to look at, at those as, as not um, roadblocks, but as hurdles that we need to go over to try to build um, that no into a yes. Um, we want to be curious, not persistent for say when trying to get a no uh, turned into a yes so you know it used to be just keep bugging them until you get that yes like we did with mom can I have the candy can I have the candy can I have the candy um, well that doesn't work but we want to be curious you know hey I'm building that relationship I'm touching base I know that you know you're really busy right now um, what if we moved it a little further out um, I can help you you know, set up a date that works better for you. So it's it's more the curious, the asking questions, the building those relationships. Um, you need to always ben or demonstrate that benefit for that client, customer, or lead. We want to show them how a product or service may better their lives, um, how it's going to give them uh, more joy in their life or, say, financial freedom, um, Make sure it's not scripted, that it comes from the heart. We don't want to use scriptings to sound like we're robots. We want to be genuine in what we say. Um, no makes it easier for us to express ourselves. Um, even if that's not how we're feeling at the time, it's just, it takes the pressure off to be able to say no right now. And then it gives them time to think about where they're going and what they're doing. Um, so what I'm challenging all of you to do is to go on out there and um, go for the no. Try to get the no's. See how many no's you can get and and then how many yeses come out of those no's. Um, I know when I work with my different customers or clients or even recruits, um, it could take me some time because I get a lot of no's but I don't see no as no. I see it as an opportunity for me to turn it into a yes. And that's what I'm challenging each of you to do is to tell me how many no's you've gotten and how many yeses came out of those no's. So have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.